And I thought, well, that has to be an overstatement. Surely in today's age, we wouldn't have one of the major parties with a noble tradition really taking action to prevent women and men from getting contraceptive services. But this discussion has shown this was not an accident. It was not an incidental uh, a foul up by some drafter. It is an intent to reduce the availability of contraceptive services in America. Not abortion, but emergency contraception. Uh, I was regional director of HHS when emergency contraception had its first sort of trials out in Seattle areas in the mid-90s. It has now been proven to be extremely effective, extremely safe, and extremely acceptable to the American people. And yet, this appears to be a conscious effort to prevent people from getting access to emergency contraception. Now, I understand conscience clauses, but where does this stop? Where does this stop? And we do have people who are good Americans, who have good consciences, who believe that blood transfusions are not within the Almighty's plan. But we don't allow them to deny people blood when they go to the emergency room. And we should not allow pharmacists or others to deny people contraceptive services in this country at this stage under this Constitution. And you want to talk about a conscience clause? How about the oath we've all taken to the U.S. Constitution? And the U.S. Constitution, according to the only organ we have to interpret it, the Supreme Court, has said men and women have a privacy right in regard to these services in Griswold versus Connecticut. And we took an oath to that, all of us. And we have different views about our personal lives. But we ought to share the recognition that this is a constitutional right. And this is a conscious, willful effort and maybe that headline wasn't so far off the case. So I urge us to pass this amendment. Let's protect emergency contraception and, and our respect for people's rights. Thank you. And I'll yield to Ms. Schakowsky.